What's up everybody? So you're thinking of moving to Seattle, Washington or the surrounding area and you need to do some homework on the top schools? Well today, that's exactly what Joe and I are going to be doing with drone and video from above so you can get a visual of what it's like and along the way you'll see some shots of Joe and I trying to have some fun acting like we were kids again and we'll even throw in some good stats about the school. Hopefully this video helps you. If it does, give us a thumbs up, like, but let's get rolling so we can do our homework and find out where you want to live. On this channel, we show you what it's like to live, work, and play in the Seattle and the surrounding areas. Let's get watching so you can get learning. We know how important schools are when purchasing a home. So the number one question that we get asked as realtors, besides what's going on with the housing market, is how good are your schools in your district? Seattle is the 15th largest city in the United States, and it sits in the Pacific Northwest, located between Canada and Oregon. Now, let's go and take a look at the top five high schools we have in the area. Well, here at Newport High School is ranked the number two school district in the state and number 200 school district for the country. It was built in 1963, was remodeled in 2000 and 2008. It's got a pop or an attendance of over 1700 with the average graduating class of 97%. SAT wow. scores are in the top 68% of the country. It's just a complete diverse school that you come to. It's not like anything that's really around this area. So if you like Newport High School, if you're kind of narrowing it down, you're doing some research on this and you want to know my favorite neighborhood, I would look at Somerset. Okay, we can't be this close to Somerset without taking you here and actually showing you Somerset. This is one of my favorite neighborhoods. I lived here for a couple years. The farther up you go on the hill, the better the views get. You can see Lake Washington, you can see downtown Seattle, you can see Bellevue. The homes here were built in the late 60s and the early 70s. Uh, the price point starting around $2 million, but not uncommon to spend 2.5 in this neighborhood. If you're looking to move to the area and you want to know the number one high school in the state of Washington, well, here it is right here, Mercer Island High School. It's got a classroom attendance of about a little over 1,500. It's got an average class size of about 20 students per one teacher. So they really kind of focus on getting the most out of the students by having smaller class sizes. But Mercer Island High School is known for having one of the best uh, graduation rates in the state. It's got a 96% graduation rate. Average test score for the SATs of around 1300, which is just unreal for the state. And it's also got an average AP score of 36%. So obviously most of the kids that are going to the school are looking to go further their education and actually do real world practices outside of just this area. Okay, so we're driving through the lakes on Mercer Island. This is one of my favorite neighborhoods. Um, as we're driving by this house here, um, it's a great example. Uh, this home uh, sold for three and a half million. It's a five bedroom, 3,600 square foot home. Um, all the homes in this community, there's about 100 homes that were built between 1986 and 1988, uh, Bucken style homes. Now, these houses sell extremely fast. Yeah, there's literally a waiting list if you want a home in this neighborhood, and as you drive by, you kind of see why. Now in high school, I always dreamed of making paper airplanes, but I never imagined going to a school where there's actually airplanes. Students have the opportunity to take advanced placement coursework and exams. Students also can pursue their passion for aviation and aerospace in a higher learning environment that prepares them for higher education outside of just the high school. The school has over 404 students and according to the state test scores, 82% of the students are proficient in math and 95% in reading. The school has an average graduation rate of over 95% and an average SAT score of over 1300. There's so much that I need to actually do some research on with this school, but I mean, it is, I mean, the structural integrity of this place, like it is just awesome. It literally looks like a hangar that you would find at, you know, at any sort of, you know, airport basically, but it's, it's a school, it's a high school, so. You know, maybe we should have made rockets instead of airplanes. I think so, right? <laughs> All right, let's, let's see if we can launch these things off. One, two, three. We are at the Tesla STEM School High School, which is the number one rated high school in the Lake Washington School District. It has 606 students with 95% proficiency in math and 95% in reading. The school has a graduation rate of 95% and the average SAT of 1400. Can't say enough about the area. I'm born and raised here. It's absolutely beautiful. 
Uh, if you're looking to move here for you know the first time, home prices are very reasonably priced compared to some of the other school districts that are around here that we might be covering later. This is really located in kind of a special niche area, which uh, I think is very affordable to first time home buyers that are coming here. The International Community School is located in Kirkland in the Lake Washington School District. According to the state scores, 96% of the students are proficient in math and 97% in reading. The school has a graduation rate of 90% and an average SAT score of 1400. That is amazing. Now for the top 10 school districts. Number one, the Mercer Island School District is one of the smaller districts. There are only six schools. There's four elementaries, one middle school, and one high school. There's only 4,500 students, and in order to attend the Mercer Island School District, you must live on the island. The number two, Bellevue School District, covers Bellevue, Clyde Hill, and Medina. This is a large district with 31 schools and over 21,000 students. It is super easy commute, and if you have to work in Seattle, but you want to enjoy the luxuries of Bellevue, this is the area that you want to live in. Let's talk about number three. The Lake Washington School District is one of the larger districts. This district covers part of Bellevue, Kirkland, Redmond, Woodenville, and Sammamish. It has 55 schools and over 30,000 students. Number four, Bainbridge Island School District. This is just to the people living on Bainbridge Island and is a smaller district with 10 schools, just covering 3,800 students. Number five, the North Shore School District covers Bothell, Woodenville, Kenmore, and it has 36 schools with 23,000 students. These areas are located north of Seattle. Number six, the Issaquah School District. This district covers Issaquah, parts of Renton, Sammamish, Newcastle, and Bellevue. It has 27 schools with over 21,000 students. Number seven, University Place School District is just south of Tacoma. This is a small school district with nine schools and just over 5,300 students. Number eight, Shoreline School District. This covers Lake Forest Park and Shoreline, 19 schools and 10,000 students. Number nine, Tahoma School District. This mainly covers Maple Valley and parts of Renton. It has nine schools and 8,900 students. Number 10, Seattle Pacific School contains 109 schools and 54,000 students. All right, that is the top 10 school districts in the Seattle metro area and the top five high schools. I hope this added a ton of value. So if you are moving, reach out. We'd love to help. Down in the description, there's all the links that you can find. We really hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, please sure to give us a like, make sure to follow or leave any comments because we'd love to hear from you on what you think about the school districts around here and anything that we missed, please feel free to fill us in. I hope this helped in your home journey process. Until the next video, we'll catch you later.